I put a sign up. I put a sign up which said, have you seen this cat? With a picture underneath it that is clearly a fox. <laughs> and then just put missing from the area, answers to the name of Samantha Peterson, any information to peter at peterpeterson at gmail.com. I just made up these things. <laughs> made myself laugh, didn't think of it again. Until a couple of days later, I got an email from Carol. Carol wrote, Mr. Lassett, it has come to our attention that you have a sign for a lost cat in your office door snap frame. May I remind you that it states in your contract that we have a strict policy on animals in the building, as this is a workplace. Animals are not permitted, and anyone found with animals in their units could have their contract terminated. Regards, Carol, management assistant. First of all, I checked the contract, nothing in there about animals, so she's got nothing on me. Second of all, it's a picture of a fox, Carol. <laughs> I replied, Hello, Carol. My apologies. There has been a simple misunderstanding. There is indeed a sign for a lost cat in the snap frame, but Samantha Peterson is not my cat. I am attempting to find her, as I believe she has been stealing from me. <laughs> I popped into the office late one night last week and discovered that my collection of antique biscuits had been disturbed. <laughs> the building, I spotted a cat and instinctively shouted, Samantha Peterson! <laughs> the cat turned, and so I deduced, that is her name. <laughs> I know she has my biscuits! Any help you can provide would be most appreciated. Many thanks, Jill Lassett. <laughs> Carol sent me a reply. Mr. Lassett, I'm sorry to hear about the disruption at your office, but I would like to politely ask you to take the sign down. The surrounding businesses have made complaints that their clients are being disturbed by your sign. Regards how you can be d disturbed by a sign, I don't know. She sent me another email straight after. She said, also, can I ask what the Peter Peterson email address is on the sign? Are you sharing the office space? Because it's a sole occupancy. I replied, hello, Carol. No, Peter is my private investigator. <laughs> He has agreed to live in the office and work on this case for as long as is necessary. <laughs> I replaced the sign with my compliments. Many thanks, Joe. Uh, I replaced the sign with the same picture of a fox, just with wanted dead or alive over it. <laughs> Day later, another email from Carol. <laughs> Mr. Lysett, we've had more complaints that you've replaced the sign with a very similar sign. Also, you can't have anyone living in your office. Is there a time we can speak on the phone today? It would be easier to discuss this rather than over email. Regards, Carol. I didn't want to speak to her over the phone, so I replied, Carol, I'm afraid that will not be possible. I have been advised by Peter Peterson that I shouldn't use the phone, as it could be bugged. She replied, OK, Mr Lysett, I just had one of our security guys go around and there is no one answering the door and the lights appear to be off, so I'm fairly confident your investigator isn't living in the office. As long as you don't have pets in the office, I'm happy to forget the whole thing. Regards, Carol. Very diplomatic, very considerate on Carol's part. I replied. <laughs> Carol, Carol, Carol. <laughs> of course your security man didn't spot Peter Peterson. He is a private investigator. <laughs> Shapeshifter. He lives in the cracks. He's watching you when you least expect it. He lives in the shadows of your darkest fears. In your weakest moments when you're naked and vulnerable, he's there. Watching, waiting, protecting. He lives through all of us, within us, beside us. He's the breath on the back of your neck, the breeze in your hair, the moisture in the air. Cheers, Joe. <laughs> P.S. Also, FYI, I found Samantha Peterson last night. I slaughtered her as a sacrifice to our beloved gods and burned the body in a tribal ceremony. I took the sign down this morning. Carol replied, thank you. 